Good afternoon. I'm Gail Joyce. I'm the Collections Manager at the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. Um, as part of our presentation today about preparedness, I was speaking about um, earthquake preparedness in Indian country. And I think one of the most important things for us to think about and to plan for is how do we assess the risk. I, I know people who have said, well, you can't predict an earthquake, so how can you be prepared? You don't know what's going to happen. Well, actually, I think we have really a lot more resources now. There's been so much more research that's been done about the historic quakes in each of our geographical areas that we have a tremendous amount of resources and where you can assess the risk of your tribal area um, for both earthquake um, intensity, location, landslide problems, and also for um, tsunami risk. Um, you can work with your local USGS representatives. FEMA now has tri uh, tribal liaisons who are regionally deployed and you can work with them in advance and talking about um, efforts and assessments of your area. Um, you have a wide variety of state and local agencies who are working on emergency planning now that um, the idea of major earthquakes will be happening within our lifetimes, particularly in areas where there are a lot of tribal museums such as the West Coast and now even Washington, D.C. area. You can also look at what your assets are. What is the seismic rating of your building? Every city has a seismic code for how strong your building has to be. Know what you have and know if you need to start fundraising for retrofitting the shell of your building. Do you know what's the geographic, geological underpinning of your building site? And particularly if you're building a new facility, make sure you know what that uh, geological history is, especially if there is a history of landslides. And then look at, on a micro scale, how are you going to protect your objects inside your buildings on display um, with simple methods of holding things to the walls, holding things to the ground as far as uh, shelving is concerned, protecting your objects from moving within a drawer or moving off a shelf. Um, these are all things that we can do even though if we, we can't predict when we're going to need these um, assessments.